Hello, Taurus. I missed you guys so much, Taurus. I hope you're doing wonderful. Um, Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. We're going to do that, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're also going to see what else is approaching you, what will be coming towards you, entering your life. And we're going to ask how you're currently doing on this soulmate journey. Then second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Uh, whether you're in contact or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you, Taurus. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Taurus? What will Taurus be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? How is Taurus currently doing <clears throat> on this soulmate journey they on? How is Taurus doing and what's coming towards Taurus? Wow, this one wants to come out very strongly. Oh, this one too. Okay, extra messages, very important. Wow. Wow, this is you. Uh, very heavily concentrating on your job, finances, business, money, profit, pentacles. Wow, this is you feeling stand still with your soulmate connection at this time. Um, you know, it's like you feel this person will come forward, like they're going to communicate with you. You feel... Uh, like you haven't been appreciated, like you were taken for granted. This is you trying to, you're not communicating right now. This is you holding back, looking objectively at how you feel about this person, how you feel about this connection with this person. This is you uh, going over your feelings how deep your feelings go for this person and what it is that you possibly feel for them at this time uh whether it's resentment love whether you miss them you're trying to go over everything objectively look at this communication showing up here yeah so there's gonna be communication of some sort this is deep down inside you hoping for communication with this person to resolve this to figure out what's really going on let me see what's going on here universe what's coming towards taurus what will taurus be dealing with and how is taurus currently doing on this soulmate journey and in a few minutes we're going to ask about your soulmate you are feeling single in this connection at this time like you're not in a relationship with them at this time you showing up here as very heavily uh concentrating on business finances profit job making wise decisions for yourself this also indicates you're very independent people view you as attractive so you have people interested in you looking at you for relationships because here we have two court cards so there are people interested in you people view you whether you male or female as attractive independent um, available for relationship yeah this is you taking your time in making wise decisions for your life about your job business relationships friendships yeah you have a lot of love to give this is you loving your soulmate yeah you know that you want a long-term commitment you don't want one night stand with anybody you don't want any uh, frivolous connections this is you knowing that you deserve um, long-term commitment but right now you feel yourself available so you view yourself as available on the market you're not in a relationship right now with this person yeah you see you know you deserve long-term commitment something that is stable grounded not frivolous so people are watching you people are observing you and are interested in you for long-term commitment which is a good sign yeah, you see, you've balanced a lot of karmic debts with this soulmate of yours, learning important lessons. So maybe this person has taught you self-love or patience or forgiveness, whatever it is. You feel it's unresolved though. 
you feel it's still unresolved, like they may come up for communication of some sort. Let me see, do you still love this person? Universe, does Taurus still love this person? Yeah, you do. Ace of Cups, unspoken love, secret love, hidden love. So you still love this person. You're still hoping that, yeah. Deep down inside, you truly hope to reconcile with this person. Reconciliation, love, long-term commitment, but you're not sure where they stand on this at the present moment. Wow, we're going to go into the energy very shortly. Let me see what's going on here. This is your subconscious, representing your subconscious. Universe, please show us. What's, what's coming towards Taurus? What will Taurus be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? This is you very quiet. This is you anticipating communication from this person. So you feel they're not done with you. Like they're thinking of you. Feeling emotions for you. And you are anticipating this communication coming from them. But you yourself are not reaching out. You're quiet. Hermit. Some of you may be dealing with the soulmate that's Virgo, also Scorpio. You see? So this shows uh, love between you two from many lifetimes. Uh, past life connections. You are the catalyst in the life. You're bringing major changes to their life for the better. So they're learning from you. They weren't able to learn from anybody else what they're learning from you. So you are the catalyst in the life. You see, you're quiet right now. Uh, concentrating on healing. This is you healing from heartbreak. This is you quiet, uh, withdrawing, stepping back. Yeah, major changes. So it's mutual. The two of you have a soul contract, so that means the two of you decided to meet each other again in this lifetime and work on learning lessons together from each other. Uh, that's a mutual contract, soul contract. Doesn't mean you have to be with them, live with them, or marry them if you don't want to, but the two of you have a soul contract. So if you decide to use your free will in such a way as to not work on this anymore in this lifetime, you may do so. Uh, the universe respects your free will choices and actions, but it looks like the two of you will meet again in some future lifetime or lifetimes. Yeah, to and pick up where you leave off. So it's important to know that even though there are difficulties right now, and some of you are heartbroken, yeah, heartbreak showing up here, trying to heal from heartbreak. You feel like you need to retreat away from everybody right now, no relationships. Um... This is actually making wise decisions because a lot of people are trying to heal from heartbreak by entering another relationship right away and they get themselves in trouble by doing a rebound. So you're doing this wisely. It's good for you to go out, um, Taurus, meet new people, make new friendships, but you know that uh, you're not ready to be in a relationship right now, romantic relationship, because you're healing. You are wise enough to know that you need to heal first from past relationship before you give somebody else a chance. Yeah, you don't want to enter a new relationship, new chapter in love with any type of emotional unfinished baggage from the past relationship or this current relationship. So this person is bringing major changes to your life as well. You guys are learning from each other through hardship. Oh my goodness, this has been challenging. This person wants to reconcile with you though. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. You have other soulmates interested in you for love relationships that you know from past lives. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Taurus. The soulmate of Taurus. What is going on with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus currently relating to Taurus, especially emotionally? What's on soulmate's mind? How is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus? Mm, this one wants to come out very strongly. 
Wow, this person wants to communicate with you urgently. They feel like they have something important to communicate. Yeah, they're not giving up on you. So this is them watching you, keeping tabs on you, interested in you, wanting to approach you. They want to urgently communicate something of importance. They're quiet right now. This is them trying to make wise decisions on how to approach you or how to approach this. A lot of you may be dealing with the Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, also uh, Taurus, and Capricorn. See, this is them trying to make wise decisions. So this is them trying to figure out how to approach this correctly. This is them trying to put themselves in your shoes, sort of speak, trying to figure out how you feel, uh, how you may possibly react. They're scared. This person feels blocked. So a lot of you Taurus blocked this person or told them off. Uh, this person feels scared, blocked. They feel communication needs to happen, though. They want to urgently communicate with you. This is what I often call self-inflicted mental anguish. So this person overanalyzes so much, worries so much that they can't see a big picture of how this needs to be handled. Let's see. Let me just redo my computer so I don't lose the light. Okay. Universe, please show us the soulmate of Taurus. How is the soulmate of Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? See, they feel this is very important to them. So they feel major connection with you, Taurus. Yeah, major connection. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus, also Leo. They feel like you are very important to them. <clears throat> yeah, they feel that you don't want to talk to them. They're concerned. That, that's their fear, that you will not want to communicate with them. They feel you are very guarded towards them. You don't trust them. You cut them off like you got fed up. You see, they're quiet right now, but they're not quiet to spite you or hurt you. They're quiet because they're trying to make wise decisions on how to proceed correctly without getting rejected. This person feels heartbroken about losing you. Yeah, you see, they want to reconcile. So this person is hoping to reconcile with you, to make peace with you. <clears throat> don't worry, Taurus, doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship with them if you don't want to. <clears throat> but this shows this person wants to make peace with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're very stressed out about this being unresolved. They're stressed out. Yeah. This person is worrying that you have other people interested in you. And you do. They know, they are aware that people find you attractive, desirable, independent, People are attracted to you and your energy. They know that you have other people interested in you for a relationship. Ooh, Taurus, you cut this person out. So for some reason, they view you as cutting them out. You either gave them a cold shoulder or told them off or broke up with them or blocked them. Either way you did it, whichever way you did it, they view you as done with them, like not trusting them. Uh, not open emotionally towards them. They're scared that this is it. This person wants to reconcile with you. Oh my goodness, this is heavy duty. Um, hmm. Let me see over here. Universe, please show us. What's going on with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus? They're scared. They're heartbroken too. Yeah, you see, they view you as marriage material, whether you're male or female. So they view you as very important to them in their life. Um, yeah, attracted to you. Yeah, they feel they owe you some kind of explanation or apologies. So they really want to uh, approach you with some kind of emotional gesture, offer, peace offering. Yeah, you see, they feel very connected to you, the lovers, uh, representing Gemini. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini. No matter what sign or gender they are, it shows that this person uh, wants you in their life. Yeah, you see, they love you a lot. 
they love you a lot lovers with ten of cups so this person feels major connection with you oh this is heavy duty heavy duty readings coming through today um taurus we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and at the end of the reading we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection and anything else you need to know about your life so taurus click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys